Hey everybody, welcome to Ryan Recommends YouTube channel. Today we're playing Exmorph Defense. Uh, we're going to take a look at the first uh, level in the campaign mode. Um, I'm probably going to let the gameplay do most of the talking throughout, and then at the end I'll let you know if I recommend the game or not. Alright, so let's jump on right in. Now I've gone through and beat the game already, so um, as you progress, um, there's like a skill tree here where you earn different, basically upgrade points, and you can select different things um, for each level, which kind of provides a different level of strategy. So I won't go into those too much, but basically, they upgrade your ship, your base, and uh, your towers. So. I love that explosion, it never gets old. A huge object has hit the ground south of the city. Eyewitnesses claim that it was some kind of spacecraft. Police and emergency services are en route to the impact site. This might be our first contact with an extraterrestrial civilization. has been surrounded by local life forms, initiating the Exmorph fighter to scout the area. Right here you can see the controls, basically left shoots and right collects debris, and it does the WSAD controls, or you can use 1, 2, 3, 4 to change uh, your weapon, but you'll see as we go along how that works. This thing is flying too close to our core. Drive it away! So I'm controlling the little this blue ship. Is the first phase of the operation. Our goal is to build an energy harvesting infrastructure and to create a geodetic network encompassing the entire planet. The aliens are firing on civilians. We're sending rapid response units to stop them. Alpha Squadron ready for action. Let's shoot some aliens. So I'm the little blue ship and then my cursor here points Ships where my laser guns are gonna shoot. So not too difficult here at first, just kind of getting you warmed up to the controls. Rapid response forces have been destroyed. We are sending ground recon units before the main attack. These vehicles are a threat to our harvester core. Destroy them before they can reach it. Now if I hold the right trigger, this is one of my moves, this is a charge up, it's a little more powerful. Also creates a little bit of a shield. The invaders destroyed all of our reconnaissance forces with ease. We have to stop them before they destroy You're the also whole probably city. seeing that little round ball. That's one of my upgrades that I have strikers. for uh, going through the game and completing it. You wouldn't have that at first, but we're playing on a little higher, harder difficulty level. Native defense forces are stronger than we anticipated. 
Their attack paths have been calculated. We have placed a defensive tower to help you. Defend the core at all cost. Alright, well now this is the tower defense part of the game. So, um, whoops. So, if you hit uh, uh, the shift button, it kind of goes into this mode where you can construct towers. So, you're kind of this translucent blue color. So, you can't really fight when you're in this mode, but when you switch back, you can fight. So, this is where you can lay towers. So, this is a tower that they give you. Um, and then you can try and build new towers. Resources from the core. Each tower uses one resource unit. You gain more resources by destroying waves of enemy units. So you see down on the left, that's how much resources you have. And then when you go to build one, it's showing you how much resource it's going to use up. And then if you look over on the right, there's the mini map. And that's showing you the paths. So, you know, the classic... Uh, tower defense where they follow a certain path so you can lay your your defenses. If you kind of scroll over here you'll see a little picture there of some little like a little jeep with 24. That means 24 of those units are coming from that direction and 24 from that direction. So um, for right now what we'll probably do is just set up one say like right here where they meet. And then one thing that's really cool is you can redirect where they're going. So you can actually click on this one, and this little fence symbol with a lightning bolt means you can connect it to this one, and it can reroute, you know, where the guys go. So let's just say I build another one right here. I build a fence with that one. So if you notice, now they can't cut through here. They got to go all the way around to get to the base. So it's kind of a cool mechanism they use here to help you reroute basically the good guys since you're playing as the aliens before they can get to your base. Alright, let's play. Light Mobile Squad reporting. Advancing to target rapidly. Shut down. You see my tower is attacking these guys. Moving towards alien base. Over. Air support attacking aliens. Now if you hit that button and then hit the right trigger on your mouse, you can collect these little pieces and those are resources. And they fill up that meter on the left end of your screen. So the more resources you collect during battle, the more you're going to have when it's time to set up your towers. So like these guys right here, I switch over and I su suck up the resources. So you're constantly balancing shooting and gathering resources. Warning, we are anticipating a stronger enemy attack wave. You can build additional defense towers. All right, so we got 32 guys up here. 16 from this direction and 32 down here So this probably won't be too difficult but um, Just to give another example of how these towers work I can set one here Set one next to this building And now select the fence and you can see now they're routed down this way. So it makes it even longer for them before they can reach my base. And your base's health is this meter down here on the bottom right below the map. We're sending more units in the second attack wave. Armored units will be ready to strike in the next wave. Light ground support moving fast. Confirming visual on the enemy. Air support experiencing head losses. Jet fighters in the zone, attacking the aliens. Humvee team engaging hostile. Ooh, 
Look out. So now if you look up here, the first few waves have been pretty easy, but now we're going into some tanks here. So we've got eight, four, and then nine and four. And it's always good to check these before you start the next wave, which all you do is hit spacebar and it starts the next wave. So you got plenty of time to set up your defenses however you want. Now one thing you can do is you can click on one of your uh, towers here and you can actually upgrade it to either air defense up here this is like fire defense for small units laser for heavy units or this has longer range so uh, it's more like a big arching explosion so let's change some of these and you can see how that works and we'll just leave that one let's see Aliens have begun to expand their base and are raising new structures. Armored units are on site and ready to spearhead the next attack wave. They should get past those towers. Now I've been shooting with my regular gun. Now you can switch. And this is for heavier units. And if I hold the right button, it's your special. Or I have a laser. Jet fighters in the zone. And each one has uh, each weapon has their own strengths and weaknesses. Humvee team engaging hostile. Gunships attacking the alien. Whoop, look out. next level so again down here you see the resources I've got um, let's see we now I've got four waves so we've got uh, one coming from this direction now now I can change the direction which this one's coming see so, so if it comes down here I basically it's gonna go straight into the base so if I want to redirect these guys to come in over here by where I have more of my towers already placed which you can move them but I just want to show this here again where you can set this like this then one over here and then now you can see they've got to go this way and that didn't quite do it right so we're gonna set one more set of towers and then bam see now they're funneled back over here and have to make it to these towers basically extending the distance they have to go and then allowing your towers to do a lot of the work so you don't have to shoot everything. Well, around the alien structure is being covered with a strange metal. And we are observing an increasing number of alien towers. It looks like their base is growing. These aliens are definitely hostile. We can't let them spread. Civilian casualties are secondary. Prepare a stronger assault force. Thanks for joining the attack. Attacking aliens.
Jet fighters in the zone, attacking the aliens. are using advanced tactics against our forces. We have to attack them from several directions at once. We're sending everything we've got at the alien core. If this doesn't work, we'll have to authorize the use of Tarantula Mark V. Warning, a very strong attack is incoming. You can freely move towers or build new ones to shape enemy paths. It is recommended to make their paths as long as possible. I just have to say I love that guy's voice. Alright, so 18 tanks up this way, 9 this way, 9 down here, 9 down here. So the most tanks are actually going to be coming from up here in this direction. So what we might do is upgrade this one to a laser, and this one one of these guys here and then we might add seem like a few are getting past that spot right there might add one right here by the base armor squad ready to deploy the hit is coming air support your location one minute Enforcements won't be here in time. We must use our weapon of last resort. I'm authorizing the use of Tarantula Mark V. General, there's still civilians in the city. Can you confirm the order? I say again, initiate Tarantula Mark V. We have no choice. If we lose, the civilians will have no chance to evacuate. Bachelor Mark 5, ready for battle. Heading towards the alien base. Affirmative. Try not to bring the whole city to the ground. Yes, sir. Power destroyed. Our human horns trample our towers. We will collapse a large structure on this path to gain time. These boss fights are really fun. The aliens collapsed a building on our path. Heat signatures indicate that the 
there are still like civilians inside. Let's try to go around it. Leg critically damaged. We have to stop and rebalance the platform load onto the other legs. It looks like the legs are this machine. You gotta watch out for this laser shot. That's what'll get you. Gunships attacking. been annihilated. All remaining units retreat. We have to fall back and regroup. Congratulations. Despite the surprise attack, you fended off all enemy units. We didn't expect to encounter intelligent life forms. However, the harvesters have already begun to land, and we must continue. The next cores are approaching the atmosphere according to the planetary assimilation schedule. Move your consciousness to the next landing site. Alright guys, that's the end of the first level. Uh, what you can see here is they give you a score. Um, which kind of helps push you and see how you did. If you see down here, you did not better than 90% of the players in this mission, so I suppose that's not bad. So, the big question is, do I recommend? Well, I say, hell yeah, this is a great game. Um, as far as graphics go, they're, I think they're very good. All the explosions look good. It's very satisfying when you shoot things. I think as far as sound, it's got a thumping soundtrack. Um, explosions sound great and obviously the voice acting of the aliens and the humans I think is spot on and ultimately is it fun yeah it's really fun it's action on top of tower defense so a lot of times tower defenses can get really stale well this adds an action element that is really unique and I wish there was more games like it so I guess final verdict Ryan recommends go out and get this game if you haven't already all right thanks for watching guys bye